perspective from people who are working the issue on the ground, okay? Jenna Arnold is in Pennsylvania for the Harris campaign. When you're canvassing and you're talking about this issue, what resonates and what is the pushback that you're seeing on the ground in a state that could decide everything? Well, not only is it a state that could decide anything, but I am here taking away time from what I need to be doing in Montgomery County and Bucks County. So I would prefer to be on the ground with, the, with my fellow organizers. And I really appreciate you asking a question to Sarah about abortion versus a congressman or two other male journalists, because this is a female issue. And what we are seeing is that men first, nobody really understands how infuriated women are right now. There is not a single poll. And I love, I love your throw to what polls should and shouldn't be. But as far as I'm concerned, there's not a single person who knows what's going to happen in this election. And if they say they do, it is how you should interpret everything else that they say. <laughs> I am sitting in a position of, I am so baffled how you believe what you believe. And you are sitting there looking at me saying, I am so baffled by how you believe what you believe. You are baffled? Yes. Okay. Wh Deeply. What are you baffled? Because by? as the congressman just said, yes. he just said he wouldn't ban abortion. Sarah's suggesting it should go back to the state. No, no, well, but I don't know what you're state, baffled by. I don't understand, and as most other supporters of Trump would say, they don't understand why I'm not a fan of his. No, I and understand. And Jens, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me finish. I got it. And, and Harris supporters, don't understand how Trump supporters believe what they do. And I want to challenge what you said at the top of this segment. You said, we are making a decision about what we want in this country. It's not what, it's how. How so? Because we, we have already collectively lost this election. Who's who? We? Who's we? All of us. <laughs> All wow. of us. Why? Because we're sitting here debating what's going to happen with different demographics. I, my hunch tells me Sarah has had a personal experience, not her individually, but she has held the friends of people who have had to make very difficult decisions, not just about abortion, but how they're paying for their health care bills, how they're paying for diapers, how they're paying for gas. And here we are fighting over what inflation rates might actually be. You use the word bill about tradition. You say, we, it's the progressive left that wants to move forward and we're talking about tradition. This isn't like a Christmas activity or a Christmas song or what do you have on the Thanksgiving table. We are, we are challenging outdated policies from the past that clearly are not working. Clearly. May I ask you a question? In one second. I'm interested in how we are going to move forward because I am a frightened American who knocks on doors every day, all day, in the most significant counties in this country, in Philadelphia. And everyone goes like, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know what to do next. And I say, OK, do you have any thoughts about the candidate? Do you want to hear my opinion? Where's your head? And they often, the undecideds, because there are undecideds out there. Again, any poll that says there's not undecideds, they don't know. What, that's not been my experience on 6-11. Right. And they say, I'm watching the news. And what the pundits are saying is not adding up with my gut. And I don't know how to thread that. Stephen has a question, and then I want to bring Tiffany in. I am dying to ask you this question, because as you so accurately pointed out, you are a woman. We are not. So based on sure? what, oh, I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive. I can vouch for I'm very, I'm very positive, OK? Having said that, I must ask you this question. Based on what both candidates are saying, what you believe they will do, and what they stand for, who should women stand for? My first instinct and response is each other. And hold on, I agree, but uh, I know I'm going to get there. It's got, it's got, no, got two candidates. Come on, you got two choices. You choice. know I was coming okay, back, okay. and and this is the other thing: we don't have two choices. We have a boss that we can put in office that provides air cover for us to do the work for four years. I am done with an America that shows up for these conversations six days out. So, what do I? It is. It is not. 
it is. I don't understand why you're clapping, but go ahead. It, <laughs> it is not, a, let me just finish, I'm gonna and I want to answer his question. Go ahead, Jenna. It is indisputable which candidate has the capacity to go like this to everybody. The person who isn't going to change their mind constantly, the person who didn't put Supreme Courts in justice, that took my rights away. I don't even need to say that person's name. You know exactly who it is. So, hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.